I think I got sucked into the world of keyboards. Honestly, I don't know how this happened. I think it happened when I watched a video by Teha Types, um, which had recently blown up on YouTube. And after watching it, more mechanical keyboard videos were recommended to me. I continued to watch many different keyboard YouTubers after being recommended that one video. And after a couple months, I wanted a piece of the action. I wanted to get a custom keyboard, but there were some conditions. It had to be budget. And when I mean budget, I mean very budget like under 40 bucks. So I did some research and I found the Red Dragon K552. It was $32 at the time because it had a sale and I thought it was a steal so I bought it. When it arrived, I just used its stock and I didn't mod it. It sounded okay. As an avid YouTube watcher, I found a video of modding keyboards and I wanted to give it a try. I opened up my mechanical keyboard and started to do some weird stuff to it that would not make any sense to anyone that is not familiar with mechanical keyboards, such as adding foam, clipping the stabilizers, putting tape on the PCB, and lubing huh? the switches. So basically what all those things do is make your keyboard sound better. There's a limit of mods that you can do to a $30 keyboard without spending money on it. So eventually I wanted more. So after craving a better keyboard with a more thocky sound, I hid away in my bedroom and watched all of the entire library of keyboard content on YouTube. And I came across a man named Louis Toe. He made fairly budget custom keyboard videos and I was inspired by him and I decided I didn't need the $400 keyboard to sound good. So I got a budget option and honestly, this was probably one of the most expensive things I have purchased online before just because of a hobby. I did some research and decided on getting the Keychron V1 bare bones for like $64 on Amazon and I paired it with Echo CS Rose Red switches and a cheap keycap set. I also decided to lube my own switches because supposedly it makes your keyboard sound better and I wanted to hear that creamy, silky, smooth, buttery deep clack and pop of the switches hey, yo, <laughs> um anyway the total had come out to 120 dollars and i was like holy that's a lot of money to spend on a keyboard but anyways i moved on the keyboard arrived and i was ready to build it and i spent seven hours yeah. lubing switches i did not think it was going to take that long but whatever i was finished and i could finally look back at my work and it sounded so good my eardrums were blessed with the acoustics of the keycaps hitting the plate and I was so proud of myself. And now as I look back, I think, wow, it has been a long journey since the start, and now I have indulged myself in the keyboard community. Honestly, I don't think I've yet to complete my transformation. I'm scared of what's coming next.